previously. Awesome. We got all of the student endings. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Luna Knight and welcome back to Alice Mare. This is going to be the last episode because we're going to get the uh, last achievements remaining and as get the true ending as well. So let's get this party started, yeah? Open the closet. We're going to wake up back at our house. Make sure that I don't miss anything here. Which I shouldn't. I think I already know to do all this. Yep. So let's go. We're gonna go talk to the teacher in the library. Hey, dude. Oh, nope. He's in the actual library. Okay. And then we're gonna go through here. And I'm gonna wake up back in this weird little room. And we're gonna go here, play this game. Oh. Okay. Now will you play the game? Uh, sure. Alright. It's cat, dog, frog. Cat. Dog. Frog. Right? Cow, cat, frog, cat, pig. Cow, cat, frog, cat, pig. Okay. Now I can go this way. And I'm gonna go make some soup. Right after I talk to this dude, right here. Oh, I don't have a pin, that's right. So let's go make some soup. Vegetable. Oh, there's a notebook scrap. I forgot about that. Boil the vegetables. Boil again. Never mind. Give it to this chick right here. Do do do. Okay. Yes. One cat. Okay. And then we go talk to this dude. Hey, you want your ribbon? And we're gonna skip through this. And we're gonna go talk to Tiny Teacher. Yo. Okay. Do -do -do. Oh, what's in here? Director is in that one. But I wanna go here real quick. Nope, I don't. Thought I did. There's nothing in there. All right, teacher. Okay. So the first answer is three, and then the next one's four. Do do, -do notebook scrap. Okay. Do, do 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 Four. All right. Now we get to go back this way. Oh, wait. Uh, that's right, I gotta talk to everybody. Boop -doo. Boop -doo. Boop -doo. All right. Uh, All right. Now we go get the pin. From you.
Oh no, we get the pin from you. And then we get the pin paper from you. All right, now we can go do thing up here. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do, do. B and D are the culprits. I'm going to save. And let my goddamn cat in because he's an asshole. I'm coming. Sorry. Now, this is where I deviate. Instead of going through that door like I did last time, we're gonna go this way, and all the way back here. When I did this last time, I have no idea why I didn't decide to go back. The shovel here. Touch it. <coughs> okay. Through the door. Just noticed. What an odd boy. Very odd. I'm a bit lost. Would you mind guiding me? It's fine. You should be able to see the way. I can't see too well. Me? I'm Fiona. I think that's what it was. You, yes, you smell like tears. I'll call you Crybaby. No, I have no soul anymore. Just teeny tiny shards. It's his fault. All of it. Even the fact I won't be reborn. Yes, yes indeed. It's always been that way. Letting his hair grow long. I'm sure he learned how to cut it a long time ago. Honestly, it's so empty of him to be unable to forget. He needs to break things off. He's not going to get anywhere dragging all around all that weight. Not even knowing that, for all the smarts, it pisses me off. He's an idiot, he is. Stupid, stupid moron. Ugh. What? No, I'm not heavy. Sure, I did eat a lot, but I keep things under control. Ugh, let's go. Come on. Alright. Bookshelf? Read it. It was a little house deep in the woods. In this little house lived a mother, a father, and a girl. Their lives were very needy, but the mother and father were kind, and the girl could put up with hunger. It happened very suddenly. Her mother, as if a changed person, began treating her daughter coldly. As soon as her father went out, her mother dragged the girl out to the woods and told her this. There's no more food for you. You can't come back home. The woods were dark and she didn't know her way back. The little girl closed her eyes and thought, Why? Is it because I was weak? It, well, that's why there's no more food for me? As she mumbled to herself, a lone boy talked to the girl. I'll be strong so you can be weak. The little girl was terribly surprised. and She said yes, that's right, before falling asleep. The girl went out to having to face up herself. Okay. There was a white house near a flower garden. In this white house lived a mother, a father, and a girl. The father rarely came home to the house. The mother was old and frail. The girl did various tasks in her stead. One day, on an errand, the girl broke her promise with her mother and put the flowers in the garden. The girl went to her grandmother's house with the kind person she met there. After the girl fetched the medicine, she returned to her grandmother's room to find she had been eaten by a wolf. The girl was terribly scared and could not move from the spot. The wolf drew near her. The moment the wolf reached the girl, the wolf was cut in twain. Behind the wolf stood her father, wielding an axe. The girl trembled at the sight of the slaughtered wolf and her blood-stained father. Afterward, the girl who ran all the way back home and locked herself in her room. There was the voice of her father. There was the voice of the girl there, too. Father killed a person, but isn't it me who is most to blame? Was that father? Was it a person? The more she thought about it, the more the scene was jumbled in her head. So she decided not to think about it. The girl went out, having to acknowledge anything. turquoise storybook there was a large house in a large city in this large house lived a mother a father a boy and the boy's brother and sister and many other people the boy had many things forced upon him and he grew tired of it all he found fun in sneaking out of his large house to adventure outside and telling his mother of his escapades 
Many of his stories were lies, but his mother delighted at them and patted him on the head. One day, lightning struck, and father's castle was ruined. The castle crumbled, and there was no money left, and the last time the boy saw his father, he was floating in midair. The boy informed his mother, but his mother said this, What are you saying at a time like this? We're all very exhausted right now. Don't tell me such lies again. The boy tried to lead his mother to her father again and again, but she let go of his hand every time. After some time, the boy's brother and sister led their mother toward where their father was. When I say it, you say it's a lie. Why? Is it because they have something and I have nothing? Did you know they were all lies before? Is it okay if you don't know they're all lies? The boy renounced having to improve himself. Black Storybook There was a little town deep in the woods. In this town, there lived many people. They all lived healthy lives without sickness, but it struck suddenly one stormy night. A curse was laid at on the forest. Many victims of the curse died every day, but a single girl did not fall victim to the curse. Many people felt pity for the girl who had lost her family to the curse and invited her to their homes. Yet the curse came once more and the girl lost another family. After losing a fifth family, she met a person in a church who offered her an apple. This apple carries the curse of death. With this, you can go to heaven with the rest of them. But the girl refused, and that person too died of the curse. That girl deeply regretted not eating the poison apple. Soon, the girl began to harbor her hatred for living. The girl renounced having any attachment to life. Oh. The smell. There are books here. Then maybe this is the library that we used to go to. We loved it. Hmm. Let's see. You, oh, see a white notebook? <laughs> is that what you heard? Yes, if it were a dream, then that wouldn't hurt your heart so. Maybe this place is more like what you call heaven or hell. There must be a simple reason why you've come here. Probably because you've lost love. Cat? You mean the one with the smarmy laugh? I wonder if he's the one I know. What, did you believe everything the cat said? The words of a demon that who treats people's sorrows as his feasts? How could you believe something you've never seen or experienced? Maybe you can believe because you have no clue. <laughs> How strange. Liars are everywhere. The world can hardly contain them all. And gullible people? Also everywhere. But it's only the gullible ones who get hurt. Maybe God's just a sadist. <laughs> Just kidding. Look, at, I love the smell of books. Okay. Uh. There should be the white notebook. Yep. Found it. Good. Will you show it to me? Yes, it's blank. It's always been blank ever since then. No, it's okay. I just wanted to check. Save here. Oh. What? Looks like we're here. It's the sky. The sky of souls. This is where they were born. Both eaten souls and souls that lost their power can be reborn. But I'm too way down to fly, so I can't. Yes, some choose to keep going even when they're nothing but a soul. Fantastic power can be turned into an equally awful power. But don't you think it's better to be reborn than to cling to one thing? You know, it's impossible to get a crumpled paper back to being creaseless. It's no good for me. I've lost my soul and my sparkle. To think that he's family, my only connection, well, but I'm shameful myself. You, you should go be people who can break away. Renounce facing oneself, renouncing acknowledgement, renouncing improving oneself, renouncing attachment to life. And he renounced taking notice of anything around him. What you're about to see is the fate of a person who ends up that way. It's alright. Even if you feel as you're unhappy as can be now, there's lots of happiness to be had. You're still children, yes? Not not all adults yet. Yes, so you always need to be looking ahead. There's no point in looking behind. It's all up to you in the end. I hope we can meet again. Good night, crybaby. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? You've been spacing out. Well, as long as you're alright, hurry and open that door. Awesome. I got the achievement. All right. Awesome. So let's go back this way. And then we go up through this door. Tell him I'm ready. Okay.
obtain the last shard. Mother, father, I have to go. I'm gonna save again. There's a hole right here. There's a strange hole. Go down. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Count your sins. Judgment guilty, sentenced to bed. Sweet dreams for life. Yo, 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 what? Told you, didn't I die? That I'd show you the goods in the hood? Was kind of a mess. I scrounged some stuff up. Left eyes from a boy hurt by sheep. Hair a girl who's lost a light. Ears an abandoned black cat. Pretty sweet, don't you think? Heap on that praise. Now I'm a guy who keeps his promises. You got the key, yeah? From the white rabbit. But you stabbing somebody or getting stabbed is boring. For me, anyway. You're not sure how to answer any of my questions. You taste lousy, I bet. Ah, that's right. Didn't I tell you that, too? We eat souls. If we don't, we go poof. But we could eat lots of dogs or frogs, sure, but people taste best. Especially when their souls are broken by despair and agony. Kids don't know much stuff. If you know what to take, it's easy to break them. But Banna didn't think you'd be so hollow when I took it from you. Kid like you, kids like you are always rare in this day and age, you know? Adults are no good, though they're too hard because of the, all the dirty knowledge. So we mainly dine by luring kids into this world. Ah, but the time is special. The guy never changed, not since he was a little brat. Couldn't be a happier day than this, no sir. What's so funny? You eat pigs and cows and their souls? What's the difference if we eat frog and human souls? There really ain't no difference between us and you. Why do we keep using the same language as you? That never struck you. Question. What do you think happens when people die? When people die and vanish from the world, they give us power. Because souls don't die. There's all kinds of them, and I take them from them. Rabbit can rewrite the signs on the past people take in a good or bad way. You guys like to call that work of demons or angels, depending. The only diff the only one difference is our god. He's pretty wrathful, so he made all creatures need love to live. The people forgot to love, because they made their own rules. Mm. What do you think of that? The world was already over once people came into being. Just taking the roads from the end from now on. Well, there you go. That's what I've done. Now, I've told you a bit to go the other way. To link the world with our world. A pact with a demon in layman's terms, your soul and mine will get mixed. If I can take a soul rather than eat it, I can live much, much longer. Strong intentions are risky. Those make it hard for me to act the way I like. But you're empty. You don't get a chance. This good every day. If you give me everything, I'll take all the guys in this world back to your world as thanks. It'll be over before you know it. it doesn't hurt. Vanish here or merge with me to help the others, what will it be? Um... She select okay, otherwise you get a game over. Okay. Pact made. I can't hate you, smart brats. By the way, I think you'll keep enough consciousness to see, so there's that. What I took from you. Alright, I'll tell you before I go. Love. I took love from you. And from the others. Satisfied? Alright, yeah, remember you showed real. So long, Alan. Okay. All right. Now we get to see Alan's. Right? That's what this says. Sit there, kid. <laughs> Without Alan. Because that kind of looks like Letty, Chelsea, and Joshua. But who knows?
a little exposition into Josh, uh, Alan's story. So that's pretty cool. All right. Okay. And it's always hard to get used to new stuff. As for this key, meh, don't want to read the rabbit right now. I'll toss it out around here. Now to pick up the pieces, who will I eat first? I better feed them right in front and will fall into despair easy. Can't eat the dolts though, I can't play with I'll play with them. Then get some new parts from him. Me he he he. Ooh, terrifying. In Cheshire Cat. Alright, cool. Alright, so load the game from where I just was. Then we're gonna read the diary. I've already read all of this. <laughs> okay. All right. I already read all this, so let's get going. And it doesn't matter what I say, because you'll react the same way every time. Do, 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 do. I had the key behind my back. Okay. Alright, I've already read all of this. Tin locket. Yep. Okay, notebook scrap. I already got all of this. It's gonna freak out on me again. Like it does every time. Shush, kitten. Shush. All that's loading in my blurry no. Hi, hello. You're being ridiculous. Shut up. I'll let you out in a minute. Go away. Okay. I am going to go this way. And I already got the achievement trusted friend. I'm going to save here. And then I'm gonna grab one from earlier in the notes. Okay. Grab read the diary. Oh. Contact info. Let's go go ahead and put this in. And we already know what he's gonna say. doing all right and I should have nine shards right oh it doesn't tell me okay all right so okay let's see I'm in beverage but not in rink oh beverage okay so I'm in drink but not in rink so D I'm in hurt but not in pin uh, pain. 
Okay, so D A. I'm in seven, but not in scene. V. I'm in drizzle, but not in ran rain. So I. I'm in card, but not in automobile. D. Okay, so David. Read. David. I returned from my own world. Fiona stabbed herself with a knife. Was it Fiona who had that dream? Then I must be dreaming too. No, I don't want to lose her. To sacrifice her. Fiona is still sleeping. The demon will eat her soul. There's not much time left. With all my teachers given me, I can go to school now. I'm rather reluctant to. I got involved with one particularly annoying person. His name's Cliff. Cliff. I don't want anything to do with him. I pray you can let me have some peace. That evening, Fiona's soul was lost. I wasn't in time. Well, now what am I going to do? I played with Cliff again today. He told me some interesting things. I was wondering how it would go when he dragged me out. He's a good person. Very good. So, teacher is retiring tomorrow. Seems she's having a child. I'm going overseas. I'm anxious, but Cliff will be with me, so I should be fine. Apparently, my novel won a big prize. Cliff submitted it somewhere. I got in a little fight with him over it. I told him if he were going to be popular, I'd use his name, then went to my room. I don't have any interest in that. I've been having the same dream lately. A dream of that day. Is she angry or is she suffering? I have to destroy that dream quickly. There might be another like her or like me. What is love? Maybe I do know. I suppose first I'll repair our friendship. How many years has it been since I said I'm sorry? Did I get the last ending? I think my family's home. Maybe not. I thought it froze. Freaked out. Okay. Did I get the achievement? Oh. Good morning, teacher. Look, another one came today. I'm not going to run out of places to put them. We're going to. My lady's the same as ever, always eager to play. Chelsea started slowly talking to others. She's very good at cooking as well. Joshua told me he found someone he likes. Stella always looks weary of our antics, but she seems to be having fun. Mr. Cliff and the others who look after us are all very nice people. There's no way we could forget. We'll always think of you as our teacher. So we'll destroy the dream and save you. We absolutely will. There's a lo very low chance of su success, but we are looking for a way. Until then, we'll keep sending it. The thing which you said you didn't know. Until then, good night, teacher. 
and recipient of love. Aww. That's so sweet. Oh my god, the achievement. Thirteen and thirteen. Locked every single achievement. Congratulations. Well, that really is the last episode, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Nut setting out. <laughs>